Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's and we have come to look at a Honda Civic, sorry, CRV, uh, 2.2 diesel. So when you start the vehicle up, it's got the engine management light on there. So let's turn it off, switch the ignition on. Using the launch your tab 2 here, go in and read the codes. We got glow plug circuit malfunction, glow plug circuit malfunction. One is temporary, one is current. So let's go back. Well, sorry, let's go back in there. Go to data stream. And we have glow plug signal, glow plug control command is off. So let's see if we start the vehicle up. Glow plug control command comes on, so that means there's. It's commanding the glow plugs to stay on. Okay, so here we've got a connection there to the negative terminal on the battery. And I'm going to use the live terminal. And we're going to see if we've got voltage. So I'm going to select this to volts or automatic. And then we'll uh, pull the plug here. We've already got it pulled from the glow plug. And we'll just put our positive in there and see if we've got power at the glow plugs. So as you can see there we've got 14 volts at the glow plug. So we know that the glow relay is working just over there. Okay we're going to turn the engine off now. Okay so we've determined that we've got power coming from the glow plug relay there to the glow plug plug socket. Um, so most likely an issue with the glow plugs. Now most vehicles will have a fuse as well for the glow plug here. You see number five, 70 amp fuse, and that is working there. We can see that's working. So we're gonna move this down to ohms, and we'll do an ohms test on the glow plugs. So again, the negative side is connected to the battery. I've just got that connected on a lead, just because I can't use both my hands to hold while I'm recording. Um, so we're gonna press this on to the tip of the glow plug just down there. We've got 3.3 ohms of resistance and that should be around 0 0.6 to 0 0.8. So that's a that's a dead glow plug there. This one we've got two ohms, that's no good either. Cylinder two. But haven't got any resistance at all from that one. So that's completely dead. And cylinder one, 2.2 ohms again. So just for fun, I've got an old glow plug here that I've had in the van and I've got the negative terminal here clamped around the body onto the body of the negative terminal of the battery. Now, here's a myth that a lot of people think that your glow plugs are only needed for a couple of seconds starting your vehicle. You can see here the glow plug command is off when the engine's off. This is not me commanding it, this is just the data telling you what the vehicle is, is asking the glow plugs to do. So let's start the vehicle up. And you'll see that goes to on. So all the time you're driving the vehicle, most of the time you're driving it, um, your glow plugs are going to be working. Um, it's, they're not just for starting the vehicle, it helps with the combustion and it helps um, the efficiency of the engine. Now, if we get this, we've got the negative terminal on it, we supply it into the plug here, we should see the glow plug light up. So we know that power supply is working, and you can just see there how the glow plug works. So that's just a quick video there explaining how glow plugs work and how you can test them. Uh, my computer is a launch Eurotab 2 and my multimeter here is the Autolink AL539. Autolink AL539 there, that's what I'm using for that. So that's it, we'll get a new set of glow plugs put into this pretty soon and we'll see you on another video.